Welcome back, friends, to my paranormal Scooby-Doo Let's Play. My name is Cherie, and I know I've been gone for a little bit. Um, I just took a short little break. Um, in the meantime, I was uploading a lot of shorts. I don't know if you guys seen them, but yeah, I've been having some fun uploading lots of shorts to YouTube. That's the new thing. Um, but I figured it was time to get back to recording, get back to recording longer videos, real long videos. Well, not too long, but long enough. <laughs> So here we have little, look at Nola, Nova running by. She's so cute. I just love this family and I'm going to miss them when this LP is over, which will be soon, guys. I will be wrapping this whole thing up soon. Um, in this episode, we are going to try to go for an expert investigation. Um, <laughs> last time we went for an expert investigation, didn't go... As planned, um, I thought Fred had it in the bag, but apparently not. So we're going to try it this time with Daphne. She already has a expert investigation for tonight. So let's cross our fingers to see if we can get through this. I'm hoping so. Shaggy's getting his boogie on down here. He's always dancing. I don't know if he's a dance machine or not, but they all like to come and dance at the little mach at the little um, jukebox thing here. So last time we left off, I think I was trying to get Velma's um, medium skill up. She's still not at a level five yet, so we're gonna get her. And the whole gang is going to have a little seance here. I really would like to get her medium skill up before this LP comes to an end. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do now. Let's see if we can get this skill up because we've been tr working on this since the very beginning. Um, shouldn't take much longer, let's hope. Let's see if we can keep on getting this skill up. Velma is the one who has the highest medium level of them all. So we want her to reach that, the highest level that she can be in her medium skill. Let's see what Scooby and Shaggy are up to over here. Aww. I just think Scrappy is so adorable. And he probably will still be a puppy when we close out and this LP is over. So it's kind of perfect because, as we know in the cartoon, Scrappy Doo stayed a little pup forever. So that's kind of perfect because that's what he is in the cartoon and that's what he's going to be in my LP. He's going to stay a little pup forever. <laughs> So, I don't think that really got her medium skill up where we wanted to be. Actually, it didn't move that much at all. So, we're going to come over here and have her just do everything she can do to get that medium skill up. Come on back over here, Velma. I am hoping and I'm really hoping that Daphne gets through this um, investigation. Um, I've never, the only time I've tried the expert investigation is the one time before. I think it was the last episode and we failed miserably. <laughs> so hopefully we can, you know, redeem ourselves is the word I'm looking for. Um, Hopefully, we'll redeem ourselves in this episode. I am confident that we can. But we will see. I'm confident that we can get up to this medium skill up. Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confident, but I'm kind of... if I don't know. Like, she's taking a long time. And I'm just hoping that it doesn't run into our investigation because it is already 7 p.m. Wow, it's like the time went so fast. Kind of like real life. Like the t I feel like the days have just been going by so fast, especially when you're like just staying in all the time. So 
the days have been flying by. What's this over? Oh, it's the candles. I think they like they really melt away. That's pretty cool. Velma's gonna be chained to this table until we get that skill up. So <laughs> I know it isn't that you know entertaining to watch her on this table, but hey, we gotta do what we gotta do to get our skills up. Ceremony successful. Spiritual serenity of the house has has increased. Well, that's good because you want to have spiritual ser serenity, you know. <laughs> So I'm just going to have her repeat everything she can do on that table while everyone else is out here having a good time. <laughs> Everybody else is like having a ball out here, dancing, talking, <laughs> and she's in there trying to get her skills up. Aww. Why do they constantly stand at the door? I've noticed this too. Like, they did it before, before I uh, removed the platform, like the little landing that's uh, usually in the, at what well, was at the door, at the front door. I removed the um, platform and they still stand at the front door and kind of like whine. I don't know if it's like, I think it's just glitched out. But when my son tries to interact, it, it interact, like they interact with the dogs great. So I'm not sure whether that's a glitch or what's going on with that. So let's see where she's at. Because she kindly got up from the table so she's halfway there all right we're gonna put her back on this table and we're kind of cutting it close daphne's gonna have to leave soon but we're gonna put her back on this table daphne's paranormal investigation starts in one hour get ready um, I believe Daphne has everything she needs, so we don't really need to get ready. Um, she has a lot of, like, little souvenirs in her inventory. I think that's from all her investigations she's done so far. Yeah, she has a lot of stuff in her inventory. Level up. Oh, I thought that was for Velma. It's for Daphne. Daphne has leveled up her cooking skill. Well, good for you, Daphne. Oh, it looks like Godry has stopped by to give us his jacket. Because we've been living in this haunted house for a very long time now. So, thanks a lot, Godry. <laughs> thanks a lot. We'll take the old jacket. Says it is the jacket that he died in. <laughs> Oh, that's not creepy at all, Godry. Thank you. Thank you. I really want your jacket that you died in. Thanks. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> Pretty much. So, I'm going to put that in her inventory because she's taking that with. This is an expert investigation and uh, I believe... We may run into some specters, even though I haven't had a whole lot of specters throughout my investigations. Like, I could probably count on one hand how many specters I've seen. Um, probably a glitch too, because um, we all know The Sims 4. But, <laughs> yeah, so I'm still going to put food in her inventory just in case, and I will meet you guys there. All right, so it looks like we have arrived, and they're, like, telling all my secrets now. Like, so I have the Casa Amor house, and then I have the main villa, and I also have, like, this other house that I throw, like, my past Love Islanders in, and this is the house that they sent Daphne to. <laughs> so here's all my Islanders. All my past Islanders and, like, Islanders that got booted from the villa and Islanders that I don't really have room for in the villa. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they sent us here. That's why I kind of like having all my Sims on one save, too. I mean, 
some people I know they they save like they have different saves or whatever. But it's kind of fun when you you know go to somewhere unexpected unexpected and you see sims that you made instead of like you know seeing townies all the time but and we ran into a, a, a angry specter here i don't think i've ever ran into an angry one let's try to give him some food here and see if that helps let's see does he like it i think he did like it i think he took it and laughed i think he yeah, he laughed after I gave him a gift, so that's good. And we got a few. I could see one floating around before I even get in there. So we got a few specters, angry specters. Whoa. No, we got more than a few. Yo, this place is... Oh. <laughs> Look at this. It's a cluster of, like, evil dolls in the corner. What? This place is chaotic, to say the least. Like, what? What is going on? There's so many specters. So many specters running around this place. There's Khalil. <laughs> yeah, there, this house is just like, let's throw these extra islanders in here, and they happen to just send Daphne here. <laughs> That's so cute, though. So we're just going to try to take care of, like, everything we could possibly take care of. When we got in here, it's like a cluster of dolls on the floor. That's crazy. There's so many specters in here. It's unbelievable. I don't know. I'm so glad I bought food. There's Nadia in a towel making food in a towel. Okay. <laughs> this place is crazy. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs> I hope Daphne can uh, get this place together because, wow, there's so much going on in here. I never had to deal with the evil specters either. Anytime I see one, they were always the green ones. So, this is new. Let's pull these candles out here because I totally forgot. Like, it was so chaotic when we first walked in. <laughs> I totally forgot to put the candles out. Alright, we're just going to try to take care of as much of this stuff as we can. Because I don't know if we can keep up with all this stuff. Like, it's crazy in here. Wow. Come on, Daphne. You're, like, taking forever to mop up that symbol. There's so much stuff going on in here. They're showing you, like, all my Love Island secrets. Like, <laughs> I keep extra islanders hidden away in the house somewhere. <laughs> They're giving all my secrets away here. <laughs> well, that's fine. And it looks like Tempest. If we didn't have enough going on, they're going to send Temperance out to us. Uh, well, at least I know what to do for her. Uh, let me just sit your little friend right there next to you. There you go. There you go. There is so much going on in here. <laughs> wow. Who knew it got this chaotic? I did not know. I was not ready. I was not ready. <laughs> it looks like Temperance has had enough of dealing with this bizarre idol. Hopefully she's on her way soon. She's making her way out. And get complete. Wow, that was quick, guys. I feel like that investigation went so quick. Well, I guess we're wrapping it up here, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Just play.